Hi ladies, I am here to share a swap that I'm doing with my friend Christina and um, we usually exchange gifts for our birthdays but I um, I was I wanted to do a swap this time and so anyway I, I really wanted to go over the top for her and the surprising thing is I'm doing sending her mom a gift and so anyway I'm gonna I already packaged everything up that I made so I'll just show you with the packaging and then I'm showing you right now these gnomes that I made <laughs> and um, I don't know if they're gonna swap or which one's gonna like which <laughs> but anyway I watched these, oh, it went blurry. I watched a video on how to make these and I just had to, I had to give it a try and I had a lot of fun with these. So. I want to show you what the package is going to look like. Oh, well, sort of. So this is what one of them is gonna, I try to do identical uh, packaging one of each to Christina's mom, Patty, and um, and then one for Christina. So anyway, so let me see our li my I made a list uh, for the swap, and one the list was to make one handmade card. Um, some die cuts and that could be you know cut aparts or doing your own die cuts to send and um, a sequence bead mix or you could have done buttons um, making bows one bow I basically said but I made four and then making a handmade embellishment but I did extra uh, so here is my uh, bows that I made and actually I can't open this so I'm going to link Christina's YouTube channel and I forgot to ask her if she's going to um, have a video when she a reveal video so I will link her channel there um, in my description so hopefully you'll get to see um, there are cut aparts in this it opens up like a card and uh, anyway I so saw you put paper clips on here and then put some ribbon I put some flower and then some twine and then some like rhinestone flatbacks and then I used the collection from Stamperia um, I can't remember the name of the collection but it is so gorgeous and I know that her mom and um, Christina and her mom will just they love this collection. So anyway, I did a pack of some die cuts here. Some there's some leaves, doilies. Um, I don't know what that one die call is called, but um, let me see if I can reach for it here. So it was a spellbinders. I get asked where I got this die from, and it's a spellbinders, but it's. I don't know how it's an old one so I don't even know if they make it anymore but um, I did some uh, ribbon holder dies and so I just wrapped it in pretty papers and then I wanted to send her some extra straws here and I'm sending them some uh, almond M&Ms and then I did this uh, rosette for the embellishment, handmade embellishment I believe. Um, so I used Renee Bouquet's um, flat, um, beautiful board leaves here. I used a doily for my stash. I used some tool. I don't know if you can see that. Um, some 
pieces from the collection and some cut apart from the Stamperia collection. Um, some flowers, some cheesecloth, of course Prima flowers, and I believe that's it. So there's that. And then I have a pack. Um, I put some do uh, crochet doilies in here for the for both of them, but you know, like I said, it's going to be um, two packages, and so I wanted to de decorate that package. Let me put these back in. I'm so excited for her to get this. Um, she already sent her, her swap to me and I was like, oh no, I didn't get <laughs> mine all packaged yet. I was working on a project, part of it, last night still. So anyway, so here's, um, I think, I don't know if I, I put a glue dot on there so she can, they can actually take this off the paper bag and reuse this if they want. Um, I'm thinking they're going to probably hoard these, <laughs> but I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, um, it took me a long time to figure out what her style was and I hope I nailed it this time. So anyway, it says love, live every moment, laugh every day, love beyond words. So I had a doily here, a crochet doily, a little bow for my stash. Renee Bouquet's um, tool and some twine and some fiber and then a Prima flower. And then I did here um, on my trim, I said two, I think two different type of trim, but I did three. I did some trim. From Renee bouquets that I have in my stash and then I had a trim from uh, the mint color I had that from Michaels and then some stash from I think one of my friends that sent me a whole bunch of stuff so anyway I put some burlap here to close it and then made a bow and and then here's my home, uh, handmade card. And of course, it has Renee Bouquet's, uh, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Butterfly. And I used burlap on there. I used a die in the background. Some more Renee Bouquet's um, lace. And Renee Bouquet's beautiful board. Skeleton leaves. And you can barely see the crocheted die, I mean, uh, doily back here, but there's one there. And then I had a cutout part, and this one says with love. And then, oh, actually, one of the things that was supposed, I, I forgot to mention was we were to make some, make a flower, but I made a set of three. And, um, I used vellum on these and then I used some Finnebear wax and then some acrylic paint and then um, I glued on some sequins and some glitter and so I thought those were really pretty. A couple more items here and so this is one of my favorite things to create right now. <laughs> I've made three of these right, um, so far. And this is a, a die set from Heartfelt Creations and it is so fun to create with. You can make it out of a shaker, which I did here. It's hard to see the, the beads and sequins that I put in here, but anyway, and Prima flowers on here more twine and I put some glitter some fun stuff in the packaging and so there's that and then 
um, I have the, let me see my screen. Um, I have this little package and it says, my worries are few because my blessings are many. And this is just a magnet. I just, this was extra. And then here's my sequence pack. I don't know if you can see. So I just wrapped some of the um, scraps from my the collection that I used, and then I mixed some of the sequins. Um, I didn't have the right color uh, mint, but so I put a light blue in there. And then I wanted to show you, I picked up this, it's in the garden section of um, the Dollar Tree. And anyway, so I wanted to cover the letters on it has on both sides, so I used some burlap and some uh, lace that I had in my stash and some tr uh, tool. And so I'm just going to fill this and uh, put it in a bag. I'm hoping to get some pictures, so um, stay tuned for the reveal. I cannot wait till she gets. <laughs> Christina, I, I hope that you love everything. And um, I can't wait to hear what your mom says because she doesn't know that she's getting this. So anyway, thank you again and stay tuned. I'm going to try to do more videos and um, please subscribe and um, happy crafting. Bye.